Hello Leo, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out as it does truly help my channel and it circulates the video so that others that need to receive the messages do receive them as well. I want to remind everyone it is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you, okay? So those of you that it doesn't completely resonate with, take what does resonate and leave the rest behind, okay? You can also check your moon rising and Venus signs. I'll give you a bigger, broader, more well-rounded view. This is Spirit wants to give you a peek into your immediate future. We're going to get a card from the Motivation Manifesto deck, and we're going to get one from the Soul's Journey. This is going to be, um, so far, it's been the highlight of your immediate future and possibly what needs to be worked on, okay? Now, I've asked Spirit to not take this any further than about three months out, okay? Okay. We have, when our hearts yearn for action and growth, we should care little about what society says is possible or prudent. Stay true to you, Leo. Go after what it is that you want, no matter what anyone else thinks or believes or wants for you. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. You are attracting somebody amazing into your life by the sounds of it. But it also sounds like it might be somebody that... Uh, other people in your world don't agree with because you're being asked to do it, move in the direction you want to move in, no matter what anyone else says. So interesting. Okay, so now we're going to get some holographic light seers cards. And figure out just exactly what's going on here. Ooh, oh my god, Leo, did you see that fly out? Wait till you see what it is. <laughs> Two of Cups. That is your first card out, and that flew. You are heading for a soulmate partnership. That's the relationship. This is a soulmate for you, Leo. You're moving in the direction of who you know is your soulmate, but it's somebody that everybody else... I got a dog here that's being a grumpy old man. Hang on. Okay, so like I was saying, sorry, my dogs are <laughs> being little brats. Um, you know this is your soulmate. You know this is somebody that you want to be with, but people in your life don't agree with you. They think this is a bad person for you because there was heartbreak previously. Four of Cups. I feel like this is someone from your past, Leo. Someone that obviously you were together with. That's how you know they're your soulmate. And the universe is gifting you with that Redo, if you want to call it a redo. The Ace of Cups, right here. It maybe didn't work out the first time or two or three, but you're being gifted it back again. Death and rebirth. Yeah, it's all changed. It's going to be completely different this time. You've grown. They've grown. Transformations have taken place. This, this could be uh, a marriage situation, you know, where the two of you separated because it just wasn't working out. It's going to be different for all of you. Wow. And you want to be their knight in shining armor for those of you that are masculine. 
those of you that are feminines, your knight in shining armor is this soul mate. And they're coming in. And so Leo feminines here, you're in the same boat. You're all in the same boat. This is somebody you know is a soul mate to you. And others don't like the idea of you coming back together with them or coming together with them in the first place. There's just something about that person that they don't, they don't agree with. So feminines, it's somebody that's coming to you. Masculines, if you're moving towards your feminine, then, you know, flip it as you need to flip it, right? Bottom of the deck, look at this. It's a whole new world. It's all brand new. It's, it's like I said, a cycle has ended and the new cycle is beginning. It's going to be completely different this time than anything you've ever known with them or with anyone else. Transformation has taken place in your life and in theirs. Wow, this is interesting. And I'm doing this reading the day after the Lionsgate portal, new moon in Leo. So it looks to me like that new moon and the Lionsgate portal situation is having a major effect on you guys, for sure. Okay, this is um, Gaia Oracle. Nice. Flame tree. The start of something new. So this sits on top of the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups. Like I said, this is your soulmate. You're having a redo. It's... It's new, completely new. It's different. It's changed. It's a gift. The universe is gifting you with a redo. This is card number 30, which breaks down to a three, which is all about your evolution and growth. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. Transformation. Ooh, I've never had this card. Card number 19 breaks down to a 10, which is endings. And it breaks down again to a one, which is new beginnings. Movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. Spirit is moving you onto the path of least resistance. This is on the four of cups and the death and rebirth card. And that's what that's all about. That's a transformation. And gifting you with the ace of cups, with this new beginning. That is your path of least resistance. And I did that already, the card number... Okay. Now on top of the death and rebirth and knight of cups, you have card number 27. It breaks down to a nine, which is all about tying up loose ends. Enchanted forest, mystery, magic, and excitement. And look at it, it's a full moon. So you could be starting over again in this situation by the full moon, which is the 22nd of August. Interesting. Okay, now we're gonna go into the Heal Yourself Oracle. On top of Flame Tree, which is the start of something new, and Eternal Dance, which is movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance, you have Alchemy, card number 25. It breaks down to a seven. This is divinely guided. Seven is a very divine number, divine guidance, divine intervention, divine timing. This situation, if it was something that you were in previously and it didn't work, it's because it wasn't the right time. A cycle had to come to an end before the two of you could come together and stay together. That cycle is closing out or has closed out. Okay? And you are ready to start something new now. And spirit is working behind the scenes on this. It's already in the works. Already in the works, Leo. You might not be able to see it but it's in the works. 
card number 36 breaks down to another nine, which is again, tying up loose ends, closing, closing. And look at that. It sits right on top of the other nine card hole in the soul. This is you and them missing each other. Being apart, being separated has created what feels like a hole in your soul. There's something missing. This is likely to be your eternal soulmate, your twin flame soulmate. And that's why you feel like you have a hole in the soul. There's a lot of pain, a lot of pain and suffering when this, this came to an end previously, Leo. A lot of pain. Wow. This is on top of the eternal dance and enchanted forest. This is about to change. This hole in, in the soul feeling, this is going to be gone. This is going to be healed and it'll be gone very shortly. Okay, now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. Spirit is telling me you need to follow your heart, Leo. In regards to this, it is all about following your heart. That hole in your soul, it will be it will be there till you come together with this person because this is your eternal soulmate. <laughs> Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Libra just got this card. Maybe your person is a Libra or you have Libra in your chart. You might want to watch that because they also got the flame tree. And theirs was about soulmate union. Definitely a lot of heartbreak here, a lot of pain. The separation is what causes the hole in the soul. That, that feels really bad to me. That really hurt you, Leo. To the depths of your core. You feel very betrayed by this person. We need to move on because, and I'm not kidding, Libra got this card too in this position as well. See the bigger picture. So this is all about seeing the world through the eyes of your soul rather than through the eyes of your human, the spiritual eyes, okay? And this is one of those things where, you know when people will say to you, yeah, but is this going to matter six months or a year from now? If you say no, then it's not the bigger picture then you are not looking at it from that angle. When I created this deck, I was seeing a whole bunch of different numbers a lot, and I wanted to know what they meant. So I asked my guides, whatever they gave me is what's on the cards. So if you start seeing 1212 from this point forward, know that that is spirits asking you to see the bigger picture. Look past whatever it is that's right in front of you and see the bigger picture behind it, okay? Now we're going to get a Just Ask Oracle card. This is my deck too, by the way. <laughs> dream big, Leo. Dream big. Your dreams are about to come true, so you might as well dream big because whatever it is that you're dreaming, it's coming to fruition. It's going to take place, so make it good. Make it huge. Okay, now we're going to get a Whispers of Love card for you. Hmm. 
card 25 again breaks down to a seven it's a very divine number romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection that is beautiful look at the dance that is so beautiful I love the artwork in this deck. Okay, Spirit wants me to get a Wisdom of the Oracle card for you now. Card number five, which is all about change, and it can represent conflict, inner as well as outer. This is orphaned. I'm going to read this to you from the book, and I'm going to read the relationship message because this reading is clearly about a relationship. Okay, it says, the essential meanings are a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, and uncertainty about your place. The relationship message is this. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing you, sorry, who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs, so you feel left out, unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. And Leo, that's what this is talking about. Your growth. This is the same thing. When, you, when our hearts yearn for action and growth, don't care about what anybody else says is possible or prudent. And this is in regards to a relationship one that you're attracted to, a person you're attracted to. Someone who is for your highest good. So don't let anyone steer you in a, a different direction. Go in the direction that you know you need to go in that's right for you. Now, I wanna ask your guides and spirit just exactly what it is that you can or need to do, be, think, and or feel to move through this and get to that place of having that new beginning with that eternal soul made of yours. I'm going to do that in the extended. So um, click on the title of this video that will drop down the description box. All my decks will be listed there that I'm using here, as well as the link to your extended version of this. Those of you going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.